Hi folks, today we'll be looking at the Tuatoy throwing axe. Well, no surprises, like everything that Tuatoy does, it's beautifully made. I mean, the handle's lovely, nicely finished off, feels nice in the hand. The steelwork, you know, lovely, beautiful forging, has got a safety pin through the middle, stop the head flying off. It's got Tuatoy embossed um, into the head on both sides. Came pretty sharp. Now it's obviously not going to be razor sharp. And it's, well, it actually it's not bad actually, but um, you know it's not going to be designed for fine cutting work. It's really just for sinking into targets. But um, nicely finished off, sort of like a forge finish on the on most of the head, and a polish finished on the the bit. I weighed it in in just shy of two kilograms. It's got a handle length of. 27 inches, 69 centimeters. And the bevel angle on my gauge comes out at 30 degrees. So let's go see how it swings. So this is how the finished target looks. Just made a tripod, got some bracing Cord. and then the main target is actually a piece of Douglas fir. One of the things I found is that when it was dry the tuatari was just not penetrating at all and you can see even today on some of the areas full of resin it was struggling and bouncing out but now that it's been standing outside in the rain for a while the tuatari was actually sinking in fine. So as you saw on my target, I've got a piece of Douglas fir that I was donated by an arborist, which was quite handy. Um, you know, a piece of end grain, and it's pretty knotty, so it's not going to split very easily, which is what I wanted. Um, but when I first tried this out, it had actually, it was quite dry, that piece of wood, and it had been standing in a, in a shed for quite a while. And what I was finding, that literally this thing was just bouncing out, it wasn't penetrating at all. Whereas the, the narrower profile on the little throwing hatchet was actually sinking in it was was not too bad but since i've built the target i've had sitting outside for a while and it's obviously been soaking up rain and got a bit wetter and today was no problem at all uh, really sinking in easily so it's also quite a nice solid and heavy target um which absorbs the impact of you know quite a weighty axe so you know it worked out pretty well the targets and um, it didn't take me long to dial this in at all, honestly. It was, I'd say about no more than, definitely no more than 10 goes. And I dialed it in um, the right distance and, you know, fairly accurate as well. So I dialed it in. Uh, I mean, obviously there's going to be various distances you can take it to depending on your, your skill level. But for this demonstration, I was throwing it at uh, 7 meters, 23 feet, and that was pretty much perfect swinging from behind my head straight over and you know it was very accurate at that distance so if anyone is going to try it out that's a good starting point just take it out to seven meters from your target and see how you get on and then you can always take it further from there the little hatchet that i was having a go with um actually dialed this in at a, a meter less so six meters is where this one was flying from and yeah really funny little thing bit of fun got this on ebay from a seller called thracian pickers i think it was 
um, based in Bulgaria, small, I guess a small little um, blacksmithing business out there. Um, so fairly cheap, delivered to my door um, from eBay. And it's good fun to, you know, play around with really light, tiny little thing, but you know, just a bit of fun for throwing. Now I haven't seen uh, any reviews yet really on this axe, so I'm not too sure whether there's a competition in New Zealand or a series of you know contests that they use these axes for. You know, if anyone knows out there, definitely let me know. I'd be quite interested to see how they use them. I mean, it's clearly going to just just for fun. It's not going to be that practical. This one didn't arrive with the leather cover, so you would have to make one yourself. I think the shape and the profile, really, it's not going to be a utilitarian axe at all. So it's pretty designed just for throwing, which is fine, you know, that's what they sell it as. And, but a really good bit of fun. The weight was just about perfect for just not using any force. I didn't have to use any force, it was literally just a throw and release. Very well balanced, flew perfectly through the air. Um, and as I said, it was quite easy to dial in, and that says a lot, I think, for the construction of the axe. So as with all things to a toy, very well made, very well thought out. Clearly some, you know, time has gone into the design. It handles very well, very easy to throw, nicely balanced, and, you know, it feels heavy initially, but once you start throwing it, you sort of realise why they've gone for that sort of weight scale. So initially I thought the bevel was a bit too wide, it was just bouncing off the dry target but once it was wet um, the target was functioning a lot better and this axe was just sinking no problem at all very good bit of fun and um, you know take a look if anyone's interested in it definitely it's a great one great option anyway folks thanks for watching and i'll see you next time